what is the shot that you should never ever do in tennis? Well, before we get into it here, I wanna say a quick thank you to Winston Du for letting me use his video. Check out his channel for some awesome, great tennis content, and I'll post a link to his channel in the description area. So let's check out this point real quick. And the shot that you should never ever do in tennis is that running short ball lob. So when uh, Govin here is about to retrieve this drop shot and it was a very effective drop shot by Carew here, uh, he was you know, well three or four feet behind the baseline and he got to it, he got to this ball, very speedy guy, very good quickness, very good acceleration by Govin here. And what was the mistake is that shot selection, right? Our decision making and this is what I implore anybody, any tennis player, right? It's not just about technique, it's about your decision making skills. Are you making the right decision on these shots? And that affects your consistency, your, your gameplay, right? And I think the best shot selection would be to go cross court. And I did a video on this. You could check out card there in the top right corner. I'll put, post a link there. But I think the best way to attack these situations, counter these situations where uh, the person's up at net is to simply go cross court there. But why is that such a shot? The lob, the running short ball lob. Why is that such an ineffective shot? Lower percentage, right? Well, think about it. You are running all the way, say, from the back fence. Uh, you are trying to retrieve a drop shot. You are under duress. And you are trying to do a lob over the person's head. It's a very short, shallow lob. How many times do we do that in tennis? A short, shallow lob. And you have to try to get it over the person's head inside. Even if you try to get it up there, right? It's a slice lob here. And most likely it's just gonna sail out. You're gonna overshoot it. But even if you don't, you have this net player and a person like Karu can smash that ball. It's not like you're going to topspin lob this ball, right? So this shot selection should just be taken away. Just don't do it. I know it's tempting, just don't do it. I've done it before. You think in your head that maybe you could surprise your opponent or maybe, you know, the, the net player is like closing in. He's closing into the net. Do not do that lob. The, the difficulty of doing a shallow lob in this situation is just almost impossible. You have other shot selections you can do. Again, the cross court, you could do the down the line. You could do a down the line shot there. Or you could go straight at the person in itself, uh, you know, maybe forcing the air. That's a better shot selection than going over the top of the head with a lob, with a slice lob. So think about a little bit with your shot selection and don't do this. Just don't do the running short ball lob. Go with the better shot selection instead. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.